Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me. To my left, my dog. Bishop B here out the prillies. How you what, nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. Hey, man, this is the second episode. You got a uniform, man. We're going to have to start using the jar for your, your episode. Respect. I just, I was busy this today, bro. I got a lot <laughs> going on in my life, bro. People don't understand that he a real chef. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you didn't make it out to the experience this past weekend, check the recap out. I bet you won't miss another one. Yeah. I heard it was a good time in there, man. Definitely appreciate it. You didn't hear you was there. Yeah. Damn. Shucking and jiving. <laughs> I wasn't Whoa. jiving, but it was, it was definitely Jive cool turkey time. tea. It was good to see all the people out there. No, no. And I'm, thank y'all for just leaving and going home respectfully. Yeah. I don't have, I don't be having like top flight security at my party. So I love that y'all can come in there, motherfucker, have a good time and just leave and you feel me? Go on to the next whatever y'all got going on. So yeah. I appreciate y'all for that. It's always like good times though. I only heard one gunshot, so. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga love fucking with my, come on, that's my brand, bro. Oh, my fuck. It was only one. Might be a fire. Don't worry, I can't. Don't worry. <laughs> Shots at the they, factory hey. on the way. <laughs> 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 so Niggas going to switch up the and shoot it up his butt. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Nah. Oh, I, I have a story. <laughs> nah, but it was it really was a good time. It'd be cool to see like everybody come to your events and it'd be respectful though. Like it don't never yeah. be like no weird. Even in the backyard days, when you had people in your actual house, niggas always showed up and showed love. So that, that says a lot about you and what y'all got going on, bro. Yeah, like sure. I, it's like comfortable. I feel like you can bring your wife to them events. Like I don't feel like I gotta be with five, six of my homeboys just nah for like, sure. Man, for sure. Like, I think people just like coming to see each other. Yeah. I know my niggas be hawking them DMs ladies, but they just be wanting to see y'all in person. So <laughs> you know I mean? take that drink and move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be lingering off that one single shot for Boy. about two hours. <laughs> and my, let me say something about these for you to introduce this nigga. Look, if y'all gonna be in these girls' DMs, uh -oh. at least say hello to them in person. I'm in that bitch working. I don't want to hear, he be in my DMs talking about how he want to bend me over, da, 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 eat my ass from the bed, blah, blah, blah. Bro, just say hello at least. That's the least you can do. Because they think y'all weirdos when y'all don't speak in person. But I'm speaking, that's my piece on that. All right. <laughs> and if I went up, yeah. my dog, Young Nacho, Young Tig, how you what, man? The I'm real a, eater. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he out of pocket. <laughs> Bend him over is crazy, but if y'all DMing that, y'all need to go home. Y'all crazy. Oh, uh, we? Some of our closest friends. <laughs> off them. the dribble? Shout out to some of my closest friends. Off the Kyrie dribble. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Call him out, shit. Fuck no, oh, no, not the Brassett. Uh, what dribble? Uh, no, nah, uh, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> no. No, nah, but I'm chilling, man. I'm in here today. What is it? Air Max Day? It's Air Max so I Day. I apologize to y'all, but I came in with the Jordan 9s, which originally dropped in 93. This is the Olive pair, one of my favorite pair. Uh, but this is the tw 2012 version. Um, yeah. To me, the 9s is probably one of my favorite Jordans, and um, especially the Olive 9. That's definitely my favorite 9. But it's something special about this Jordan. It was what? This is the first Jordan that was released after he retired. Yeah, so he, he didn't hoop in these, but so I said I was only gonna wear Jordans that he hooped in, but they did make an appearance in Space Jam. Mm. This color wave didn't, it was the original color wave, the black and white, but this one is fire though. I was shitty when they came back out recently, they called them the Space Jam Nas. Don't do that shit. Mm. That's how I mean, they did drop in Space Jam though. But we saw them shoes for our whole lives and never called them the Space Jam Nas. That's a fact. That's the Raw's Nando for shit show. Yeah, these is hard. Um, yeah. The boots fucked those up for me. When they yeah, made the they boots, was, they was out of pocket for making them boots. That one time, though, I remember that happened. Yeah, yeah that was, they was trash as hell. I remember I seen a nigga in Foot Locker. He bought them and put on shorts on them. I was like, "You out of pocket? <laughs> he was. You clean. can't disguise these, bro. <laughs> he was clean. <laughs> he was clean like up. <laughs> he was clean. <laughs> hey man, hey shout out to Unk getting that love, man. They was hating on my boy for wearing the polo and the new bounces. Yeah. Oh now, my god, that's how I used to dress. And he got to deal off that shit too. He did. Yeah, he getting he getting some love. LRG reposted him because he, he now the, the double up fit where he came with the LRG shirt. He's like, I pocket, but I'm nah, respect because of the age. Y'all was rocking LRG, man. Don't do that. 
<laughs> back in the day, for sure. No, nah, back, 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 back in the month. Back in the month. I had that motherfucker on yesterday. <laughs> I got a green varsity jacket. Shout out to LRG. Shout out. <laughs> I'm <laughs> tapped in. They went perfect with the olive. <laughs> oh, God, I done smoked them with them, nigga. I ain't put on no LRG outfit though. It's too. It's just too crazy. I'm more a chill nigga now. Like yeah. LRG that, with the trees and shit. It's, it go crazy. Hey, back in the day, the LRG jeans and the pants that had the sewing kit on them. Yeah. Niggas used to just keep that on their pants. It was yeah. nasty of us. Yeah, they made clothes for the niggas that played in Cool Running. Now, so <laughs> is he out of pocket though? Because he's dressing like his prom. Like, he he not out of pocket. Yeah, bro. He's dressing his age. That's what I'm saying. And he was at yeah. the fucking fast food spot. What was the nigga supposed to do? I just wanted to see. This is my only thing. He wasn't even dusty though. Yeah. No, I'm on his side for sure. Yeah. But how that's clipped, you don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. He probably came out of that motherfucker. Y'all weak in the bitch. Y'all <laughs> little ugly ass little girl. Some shit I do. You feel me? And motherfucker probably got the torch then. <laughs> so now I just look like because how it was clipped. I'm like, yo, I don't think they just saw this nigga. They start roasting. And then him. this. Nigga, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He definitely bro. said something to him. Yeah, because then my fucking. He was trying to holler at him and then. Yeah, or that. Yeah, you feel me? I just wanted to see the lead. But up then she tried to stun on it. He's like, I ain't fresh. Like, damn, bitch, you see these pants? <laughs> I earned the shit out these pants before I got here. Y'all ain't here. Hey, crazy. Though. Insane. But it like fit perfect for what he got going nah, on. Nah, the straight polo, that was that was him back in the day. Yeah. And you an old nigga, so ain't nobody even looking at you to, mm -hmm. you feel me? Yeah. And you also, ain't trying to stand out. That nigga had some Popeyes or something <laughs> in his head. Yeah, the one yeah. part, I think, bro. Oh, whatever. Yeah, like, big ass drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fresh. <laughs> He wasn't trying to spill that motherfucker. Right, he was trying to get to like, his free. I ain't fresh. <laughs> oh, that drink was definitely for a woman. For uh, sure. I hope New Balance fuck with him, too. Nah, hey, Joe Fresh Goods asked for his info. And LRG, I'm like, that's sorry. Niggas hated him into a bag. I fuck with that. Oh, yeah, 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 George me to a bag. Fuck it. Me, too. That's like, old boy who was doing the Target ads. Uh, ended up getting that... Um, the nigga, he was doing all the random-ass videos of him leaving Target and buying shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. got the Super Bowl look. Come on, bro. Nah. Niggas get hated to a bag every day. For sure. Nothing wrong with that. But I know who bag is about to be taking some trials and tribulations on that jet on with him out of town. <laughs> who bag is that? Hey, man. That nigga said out of town. Nigga out of the country. Boy, out of town is to Cincinnati. <laughs> that nigga went to Venus. <laughs> he went to a Euro game. <laughs> he went, he the real overseas. Yes. He went Funny. to see Mike James retirement. God damn it. <laughs> Hey, if, Diddy, if Diddy is there at the ceremony for Mike James, <laughs> Jersey retirement, they got him fucked up. They got a team in Bali. <laughs> him and Russell, they, they just start backcourt. <laughs> what y'all say that nigga was walking through that Miami airport? <laughs> boy, that TMZ posted that video of Diddy in front of the Miami little private street. Boy, he was at that bitch going through it. Well, it looked like when you first get that first F, and your mama about to come home. And they, <laughs> for the God, man. <laughs> She let the vest on that voice line, man. <laughs> so the nigga plane lands. He ain't in that plane. Mm -mm. So he just set a whole play up. The nigga set the booby trap. That's hard, dog. Oh, I should say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Relax. Yeah, <laughs> not with him. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Nah, you sent the dummy plane. Cool. He had the fake plane set the pick. <laughs> I go. He so what buddy. do you do from here, though? So these niggas just, like... They can't try them for anything once they over there. It's like if he goes somewhere where he's formally charged with things, and there's no extradition. Then yeah, he. I mean, oh, uh, because I don't know the rules with that shit. You see, so Russell I don't know. Simmons is living. Oh, okay, I still don't know. Like, um, he just left his. <laughs> Shout out to the Combs boys. They he just <laughs> had a girl too, a little baby, bro. But, but the boys, they they had them in cuffs, bro, in the backyard. Man, listen, we don't know exactly why. When the feds come, they got a case. Yeah. But, dog, I've seen them do a lot of crazy shit, and we've seen raids before. <laughs> Why do they have them kids in their backyard like that, bro? Why do they have them crazy. in cups, bro? Damn, so they a part of the whole shit, too? I would hope not, bro. They saying it was a sex... What is it? At least let my youngster get his trafficking? wave cap out the crib before y'all take him <laughs> down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you said no, that nigga had a brush in his hand. Good, good, nah, good, good, good little puffy is silk boy, so he can rest out there. Getting locked up in a durag is crazy. <laughs> I know that little nigga. They they probably didn't get locked up though. They probably just got nah. Detained. They just got detained out the yeah, way where they were searching yeah. the house. But bro, that's crazy. Like I wonder what conversation was had before this happened because he set the play. Yeah, he probably was like, hey, they about to come get y'all. I'm I'm out. They gonna come get y'all though. Just play it safe. Yeah, because the timing on it's too perfect. Yeah. 
Yeah. When niggas get ready, you ain't supposed to know, like, when they coming. Yeah. yeah. As much money he has, oh, he knew something. No, but I'm saying, though, like, he, this was all arranged, bro. For if sure. If you think he knew, you think it's anything in the house, then? It mm. can't be nothing in the house. Nah. No way, bro. I agree. But he had three houses. They went to all three, right? Yeah, they went to the little girl's house, too. The one that's in his daughter's name. Tore that's, that bitch up, too. That's crazy. Like, honestly, not even being joking, I really wonder what it is. Because like, you've never seen them raid three houses of one individual at one time. Yeah. That's some movie shit, bro. That's tough. My f- <laughs> we living in some wild times. What, uh, what, what DJ Academic say? <laughs> we say, meek boy, I've been videos. <laughs> I hope they do. I hope they got rid of them videos. I said, but these niggas, it's crazy. <laughs> the niggas run them clips. Man. <laughs> Pop them tapes in. It's crazy. <laughs> said, that nigga, oh, boy going on uh, academic shit is crazy, too. The dude from um, uh, dude from Philly. I guess he a popular rapper or whatever. I can't remember his name. He was one on that motherfucker said. Meek ass told them niggas, hey, y'all can't come to this Diddy party. Y'all niggas got to chill back out the oh, squad. Oh, he said that? Yeah. Swear to God, said Meek was not letting them niggas come to certain parties over Diddy Creek. Hey, man, they resurfaced the Brandon T. Jackson clip with um, Denzel told him, he said, hey, some of these Hollywood movies, you better leave 30 minutes for the devil come. <laughs> Excuse me? Damn, bro, that's a that's wild. That's some scary shit, boy. Shout out to them, man. Good, yeah, man. Will, good will soon, Diddy. There we go. No, we in the show with good will soon, but <laughs> Diddy, get well please soon, get well but. soon. Hey, and the internet... <laughs> As soon as that shit dropped, niggas had the clips ready, bro. Boy, they put my nigga in an OJ car. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> Did he in the Bronco? <laughs> it was soon, bro. I can't even. Man, pray for the babies, man. I be feeling bad for them kids, not the grown kids. I don't want them niggas in no trouble either, but them girls, man, it's crazy. Have to hear their pops got to go through shit like this. But when niggas put the ATL <laughs> gift, a big boy saying, I don't know who I think it is. They said R. Kelly, <laughs> when did he get to jail? I said, hey, man. <laughs> Hey, man. That's the one I ain't even seen it, but... <laughs> boy, 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 I know where you been. They had a... Know, what's what's that movie with uh, Will Ferrell and Buddy as the stepbrothers? <laughs> <laughs> they in the bunk, too. <laughs> the biggest on there, too. Damn, Damn shit, man. All I'm saying is, man, when we get the live stream of Diddy and Russell Simmons together, don't say y'all didn't hear here first, bro. It's crazy, bro. That yeah, nigga gonna be doing that meditating shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> he about to come up with his own yoga, like Ice Old Joe, and niggas just go act like none of that shit happened. Well, who you think told? This is Cassie. It's all Cassie. Cassie baby. was smart. She saw this shit coming and got her money first. Shout out mm-hmm. to her. Because if she would have waited till now, she wouldn't have got a red fucking cent. You know so, where it probably came from? Me fucking with them people trying to sue them for that liquor. Mm. They like, all right. We you heard bet. about them fucking party. All right, bet he want to play with us? Bet I got something for him. Yeah, when you got a lot of smut that people know, you got to trail lightly, bro. Yeah. Move right. Move right. Cause yeah, he, yeah, he tried to sue them motherfuckers. They wasn't going. They and lying. it ain't worth it, bro. Especially if you got them type of allegations and you already papered out, bro, you just being greedy at that point. Mm-hmm. Bro, think about Line how right. last he is long, like how long he lasted in this shit, right? Bro, at some point, it was going to have to get, but he, like you said, I don't know what, but he pissed off the wrong people. Yeah, he tried yeah. to do the rebrand with love, though. I'm Mr. Love. I love everybody, y'all. I'm the people's champ. Yeah, no. Motherfuckers was like, yeah. Mm. Hey, you told us, bro. I said, nah, bro. The white people sent you for me. Yeah. You the ops. Facts. Kanye crazy. Carisha, <laughs> but he don't be wrong. Carisha, <laughs> I'm still praying for you, baby girl. Hey, you, hey, you, you see you what they well said? Where Carisha at? She said, I'm right here, nigga. What's up? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of my favorites. Nigga, for I, sure. I ain't get arrested, motherfucker. <laughs> I thought sure. we just got light. Yeah. My nigga going to jail is up. Protect Carisha at all costs. <laughs> That's going to be your job now. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is wrong with Jonte Porter, man? How you taking the under on yourself? That's crazy. But it's kind of genius, though. <laughs> Like, this is the problem with sports betting. Like, NBA put it in there, or pause. So NBA put it in the game where you could actually bet. Mm-hmm. Nigga, if you are any type of gambler, if you got any type of addiction or a problem with gambling, <laughs> bro, it's you're going to be itching at that. Like, nigga, I play in the league. Nigga, I know I ain't playing tonight. Put the under on myself, nigga. That's going to be an easy thought. <laughs> like, if you just a, you know what I mean? If you got a fucked up mind gambler. Like, think about it. Like you said, Otani. Dog. Like, the richest dude <clears throat> in MLB. He gambling. Allegedly. Allegedly. 
Like, his nigga, translator was If your man. man's is betting on you, nigga, Come on. you setting the play up. Like, it's like me and your like, IT, what you think tonight? About 20, 15? Yeah, like, nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna hoop that good tonight, nigga. <laughs> Take that under. I don't play good against I the just, Spurs. how do you get caught? Because they run your name and your socials through a system every single month. They right. do it for all employees of the entire company, not just the players. Right, so why not have a bird do it? Bro. I'm having a little shorty do that. Like in the streets, nigga, when you hooping, niggas used to gamble at Dust Bowl. Nigga might, like, bro, what you trying to do? Side bet. Right. I don't ever want my name or nothing attached to that. <clears throat> That's too close, bro. You got to think niggas ain't going to, you hit, niggas ain't going to give you that bread. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, think about it. Think about me, niggas you fuck with. Nigga, you hit put a thousand put a thousand on my name tonight, man. Motherfucker hit for fifteen thousand. Like nigga, I ain't getting that shit to you. Yeah. Really? And what you gonna say? You can't be like, give me my money, nigga. No. Oh, you you sure? <laughs> you oh, came, bro. But I just I just wouldn't play. I wouldn't play with my well being. Me That's either. All. I mean, it's I dumb. agree. We all agree. I'm just saying. I just think he could have went about that a different way. But bro. the clip of him shooting that three late the shot clock and him like feel like it accidentally hit <laughs> is funny. <laughs> than a bitch. He was pissed. He said, "Damn, I said under two. <laughs> Told oh. himself right there. You know how fucked up you got to be to fuck up your yeah. own parlay. Piss. Michael Porter need to kick his ass, bro. <laughs> he fucking with the tree, bro. Yeah, I hope that shit ain't. I hope that shit ain't real though. I hope it was just a misunderstanding or some shit. Yeah. Um, Lay the fuck off. I don't nigga. think it's misunderstanding. I think he's suspended. Nah. I think it's understood, unfortunately. Nah, you get banned for that shit. Yeah, I know. Um, that's like, oh boy, what happened with the Colts? I mean, even though he was on some other shit, like he caught a he caught a year for that, basically. Nah, nigga, in the NBA, you yeah, you're done. Done. He gotta nigga, go early. No coming back, nigga. And you know, you can't even go to the other leagues, bro. I think it's something like that. Damn. Yeah, it'd be like fucked up. Can't go to the top league. I didn't like, know it was like that. I know for the, like the substance abuse and stuff, I know it's like that because that's what kind of happened with some people we know. But I didn't yeah. know it was that bad too. Yeah, it damn near like that. Almost. <clears throat> I'm sure it would be like if you bet it on an NBA game, what make you think you're not going to bet on a fucking EuroLeague game? Yeah. You probably go to Nigeria. <laughs> bro, stop Open it, bro. Policy. I got so many motherfucking texts about being Nigerian, bro. Open policy. Bro, if my fuck has been right, if you talk about, bro, are you really Nigerian? Tap into your fan base. <clears throat> I'm I'm 60% Nigerian, bro. I don't, they want you on the team? Good Lord, Lord. Like, week. He was just 68. You, motherfuckers mad, 60. like, why you want to embrace that you Nigerian? See, look at it. You knocking off a percentage already. Nigga, I ain't never been to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. We'll get you there. <laughs> Bye, you <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> coming to Nigeria? That's crazy. The sequel. <laughs> Let's move on, man. Before y'all get <laughs> ignorant. Nig- niggas in the league, J. Cole was hooping and taking the under on themselves. It's crazy. If you bet in that league, you Lil are a degenerate. Go over there. Facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Average 30 over there. Hell no. This would be a perfect time to put the DraftKings hey, if you need help uh, inserting you know what, You know what else to be right be about? Because of your ass? Oh, fuck. Pause. But my feet sweat. <laughs> oh, that was lit. That's a lit clip, boy. <laughs> People right, been clipping like, that. Uh, nigga, why do they expect your feet not to be wet, nigga? Like, I'm like, oh, real, real like, fans. What are they talking about? Because <laughs> I had forgot we talked about Shout that. Shout out to T fans. Man, I was like, yeah, what the, I'm reading it like, what are you talking about? Like, nigga, you're going to leave a footprint. I'm like, oh, do you think it's watching this episode? Because we did a couple. Yeah. I didn't know which one. I was like, damn, it's over with. Nah, man. Y'all better be thankful. Y'all did not get that Patreon episode because we would have not had another episode after that. Oh, man, yeah. So. We made it right audible. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> hey, man. Bad Boys 4 is coming out. I seen the trailer today. I'm going to watch it, but what are they doing? I'm geeked for it. I thought it was a great... They sold me. I thought it was nice. <laughs> Do yeah. you think that Martin Lawrence is going to be able to survive on the run? I just seen that nigga last movie. He couldn't run up the block. Now he's a fucking fugitive. DJ, a hater, bro. I'm going to watch it because I'm going to fuck with I it anyway. The fugitive was uh, the white dude. And the and the trailer they're showing that they're they're supposed to be like public enemy number one. So there's them against the world. They're gonna introduce the son back into the shit. That part's cool. But I'm nothing on Mar Lawrence being a nigga getting away. Somebody gotta take the out this movie. All right, so I must have seen the wrong trailer. I seen that the white dude. Yeah, they set him up. Yeah. But did you see them at the end? They was like supposed to be on the run. That's uh, what the whole premise of the next movie is. Basically them against everybody else trying to solve everybody's name and clear this shit. I'm gonna watch it because I'm it's bad boys. I'm watching yeah, it. Yeah, I'm excited for it, man. Actually, man, I think it's gonna be cool. I mean, they ain't going on a Fast and Furious run. It's just no number four, four man. Like yeah, I was gonna like say that is. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if there's a five, the whole, then it's confirmed. 
They're doing a whole blueprint, bro. They get less and less realistic as as they go. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, yeah. Bro, those right. are 250 year old. Fast and Furious is damn near a Disney movie now. Them niggas went to, nah, that they, they done got dark because they went to space and then they start killing family members in fast. I said, oh, this shit is different. When, when dark and Disney. When the too. rock held a plane. <laughs> no Nickelodeon. And a train like this. <laughs> nigga, I, that helicopter. I said, yeah, I'm done with Fast and the Furious. I said, boy. <laughs> Man, right. and you know what's crazy, T? He had just got out of the hospital from getting hit with a fucking bomb and landing on a car. It's just for y'all entertainment, y'all. Y'all think it's had deep, the helicopter bro. and bro, a He train. had a helicopter by a chain, bro. <laughs> that was fire, though. No, no, that's bro. ridiculous. Yeah, that shit was the most <laughs> outlandish shit I ever seen in my life. I, I vowed never to watch Fast and Furious again when but I that. But that was that good for the entertainment purposes, yeah, bro. No, it was, was so unfucking bro. believable that it made me mad. I was in the movies like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fast cars at and shit? Now y'all got niggas doing this shit. I used to like Fast and Furious because y'all had the hard cars in there, man. Now y'all got right, niggas Lee. doing this bullshit. Dominic Toretto was that nigga, bro. R.P. Paul Walker. But there is no way that this nigga to rock. I've seen him get body slammed by Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he can hold a fucking helicopter? That's insane, Come bro. on, bro. Wow. A train... <laughs> <laughs> Move on. It's bro. only because they made the first one so realistic. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. It, like, went so left, yeah. bro. And we know Transformers started off as bullshit. Yeah. So we expect bullshit. Yeah, motherfucking niggas turning into cars and shit. Yeah, that, that was never real. Yeah. <laughs> but after Bow Wow was in Tokyo, which niggas don't talk about enough. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Lineage, man. Tokyo Drift. He Bow Wow been in a lot of movies. Who was more influential? <laughs> Bow Wow or Ray J? Worst one? Uh, more influential. Ray. Bow Wow. Ray. Bow Wow. No. Ooh. Why, why wouldn't it be Bow Wow? I wouldn't it be Ray, bro. What do Ray, no disrespect to Ray J, but <clears throat> what he do that like influence anybody? Ray the love Lennon. of Ray J, the mixtape. <laughs> Ooh, the Kim K. Ow. He did change a whole family lineage. Come on, bro. Damn. I'm gonna let you go off, bro. This is he's like the the reality king, like reality oh. star. You right, Ray J changed yeah. Kim K in them whole life. Raycon, bro. The headphones. You see the glasses. Bro. The glasses, nah, bro. Glasses. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> to Speedy. We ain't gonna say nothing about them glasses, nigga. The Breakfast Club interview, bro. Very important. Bow Wow made Love Mike. and Hip Hop, bro. Bow Wow got platinum albums. Mm-hmm. Mike Mike is a classic. Lottery some households. What's the other shit? Bro Bounce. Oh, his his movie, movie his movie, movie role is elite. Got respect yeah. it. Movie game's crazy. I'm not even comparing Moesha to. Anything about what ever done on the TV screen. So how are you more influential then? Because behind the scenes, Off the bro, court activities. is immaculate, bro. Shit, he, never mind. I ain't going to speak on her no more. You'd rather he, be Slim or Birdman, bro. Oh, well, that's a crazy comparison. I'm just saying, business-wise, we ain't on no allegations. <laughs> <laughs> business-wise, I'm just, give me Slim, hey, Slim, bro. But Ray J one of the first niggas to remix the mixtape with the nighttime version. He made the night vision version. That's <laughs> He dropped the album and the deluxe before 2 Chase. <laughs> Shout out to Ray him. J made one wish, bro. It's so much, bro. Ray J did make one wish. Nigga, that song don't compare to none of Bow Wow songs. <laughs> oh, what's the best Bow Wow song? He got all type of, he made all type of stupid ass. Jeff, song. like, fresh as I miss. I ain't never Shout even heard that song. What song uh, is it? The Yee Ride. That's, I heard that song. You ain't fresh as I miss. That's not a that's that's big song. He capping, y'all. I ain't bullshit. He got a song. He's capping. Man, mm-hmm. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. But shit. Bounce With Me ain't got shit on one wish. Fresh of my is a, is a big ass song. Pause. <laughs> He's cat. I had to be off of uh, last Bow Wow song. I remember he had one with Omarion. Uh, that was hard. Too. Girlfriend, I think something like that. I don't think that's the name, but Bow Wow got slaps. That's a good song. I know what song you're talking about. But if we put Ray J best song or Bow Wow best song, that's not fair because One Wish is gonna beat a lot of them songs. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> something like that. Shit like that. you got to put like like you compared to One Wish. Like you, which one is that? Him and Sierra. Oh, that's a big song. That's, I'm a, not, that's an elite I don't want to compare the discography. This is just for fun. I know how you two, how, how the world get. Yeah. Bow Wow is a way better artist than What's Ray the song J. called again? Fresh, Fresh, Fresh As I Miss? <laughs> Why is that the name of the song? You ain't yeah, it's Mel Crazy. You've heard the song probably a million times. You ain't big, big tipping. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This song. Nah, I wasn't on that. T.I. wrote the song. I was already somewhere else with that. You heard the song. Uh, I, was, I was moving packs at that time. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, here, here the part. Just the part. Just the part. Yeah. You heard 
heard that song I promise before, you bro. I ain't heard bro, that Bro he's cat I'm not capping We bro. can move we'll we'll My nigga I remember Puppy Love <clears throat> But I'm taking I'm taking Ray J Being more influential than that Mike you younger wife. than me You probably really dancing to that shit Niggas <laughs> Niggas don't Mike was The Mike had the Paul Pert Timbs Man Who was dancing to that shit I did used to get my hair braided Like that while though Damn, I've had to look that song up. I ain't know that one. Uh, no, nah, right. Music wise, of course. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Ray J got a song. Nah, I with. What's the other one? He got he got one wish. Then he got. Uh, Wait a minute. Who would uh, nah, uh, uh, uh nah, Young nah, Bird? Nah. Yep, Young Bird. Yeah, that was hard too. Sexy Canna. Boom. Yeah. Sexy there you Canna go. is far. So it's kind of the beat crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, but crazy. I know. I ain't heard that. But music wise, I'm I'm not even gonna allow us to do that on this. Oh, no. talk about I hit it first. It's about uh, <laughs> that's oh, that. that's a classic. Actually, I got Ray J fucked up. Cause what's the song that he made for uh the this record of Bobby Brown? We hear something about Whitney. Is it boyfriend? Nigga, what? Oh, that this. that shatters it. Bow Wow never touched an icon like Whitney. Hey man, also basketball shit. Paul Pierce said that Steph is. The most influential basketball player ever. <clears throat> While I do, I don't agree with that. I don't really think he's that far off. I think he's probably in the top three for sure. He's number one. Nah. Don't nobody want to be like LeBron. It, Michael Jordan's number one. I think MJ is one. Everybody wanted to be like Mike. I had a commercial sign. I want to be like Mike. But I get that. I get that. Two. I'm not mad at Steph. Yeah, Steph is. Steph no, two. two is Allen Iverson. Because once you went from being like Mike, mm. everybody in the world, we had white people getting braids. Everybody in the world, everybody in the world wear an arm sleeve like, yeah. Uh, Tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. He made it acceptable to be yourself. He the reason we all wear these weak-ass big clothes when we was younger. Yeah. I don't disagree with that at all. I think what he so brought to are, are, are we talking about just, like, I thought we were talking about, like, on the court. I'm just all-encompassing. All uh, That's why I would put Ivo at three. The only reason I put Steph ahead of him, because like you said, the swag, the culture is completely out of Iverson. Would never disrespect that. I just think the on-court, I mean, even though niggas wanted to do crossovers like Iverson, that step shit got the world shoot threes. Yeah, he do. But I feel like what Iverson did, he took basketball to, from the playground to the court, like the mainstream court. Mm-hmm. Like, we all did that far-ass crossover. Everybody did a crossover. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. dribbled. When you first got out there and hooping, everybody wanted to do that crossover. And he just made it feel like it was realistic. Like, dog, he he from where we from. Like, mm-hmm. he looked like me. He out there hooping. Hey, I you got people getting his tattoos and everything, like, to be yeah. like him. I think, just like LeBron, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. LeBron, the greatest player ever. But there ain't really nothing from his game that you would want to steal. Mm-hmm. And you feel me doing the backyard. He's that's really one of one, for real. That's crazy you say that, because like we said this all the time, that he has the most buckets ever, and nobody considers LeBron a top five scorer. Like, just he just happens sense, to be the bro. best because he just was good at everything and better than everybody. But he's so athletically gifted that, like, you, you can't be him. him. You can't. Yeah. That's why it was so insane for us to want to be like Jordan because the shit he could do, we couldn't do. But you could go outside and do his layups and shit and be like, yeah. oh, I wish I can fly like Mike. Allen Iverson, you could see that shit. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, that nigga skinnier than me. That nigga little like me. That nigga just got a crossover. Yeah. I could do that. And then the same thing with Steph. Like, if I learn how to <laughs> shoot, I could play. Yep. But I feel like Steph influenced how everybody played basketball. Now. That's exactly what I was about to say, bro. But everybody. Everybody. Everybody want to shoot threes like Steph, but I don't think he made it realistic. Like, I think he influenced a lot of people, but I think he also, like, didn't make it realistic. Like, you can't shoot that good. Mm-hmm. Like, not too many people can shoot that fucking good. And it's a lot of people trying. And that's why I look bad. Like, look terrible. Yeah. Like, you got people in high school pull up for three Everybody shoot threes. You got seven foot dudes trying to shoot threes like Steph and can't shoot that well. So our kids out of pocket for shooting volleyball lines if they have a jumper, if they got a clip. Are you as a coach going to allow a kid to shoot from the volleyball line for a heat check? I mean, if I seen you do it before, like the only reason yeah. it worked for Steph because we seen him do it so many times. Dang right. Lillard, we seen you make that mm-hmm. shot, but I ain't never seen you make that shot. Like no. <laughs> like why are you shooting? I never. No, I understand. I'm just saying, even if you catch him in practice or something, I'm just saying the 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 free string you gonna give him the fuck it, bro. Be splashing in practice. I let him get one off. That's nah, if you check. put in that work to and right you constantly practice mm-hmm. this shot and you be almost perfected like Steph and them did, why wouldn't I let you shoot that? Okay, but I'm just saying it's not realistic, bro. What he doing? What Dame do? That's why they elite. It's not. You can't sustain that. 
And I, I agree with you now. I think Damian Lillard needs more love on that three-point shooting shit. Yeah. I mean, obviously, because Steph is there, he don't, but that nigga be going crazy. Yeah, it's hard to sustain the stuff they do, bro. It's, like, yeah. unrealistic. Like, Trey Young and all them shoot from that far. It's a lot of times where you, they shoot that far and they brick. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And you got to so, live with it. Yeah, you got to live with it. So their confidence is just so high and they're professionals. That's why they hit more than often. But, like, you a little kid and you practicing that? Nah. Yeah. That's why people like Gilbert and them stand out to me, too. Because Gilbert was really on that type of time, bro. Yeah. The pull-up clip and shit. It just, yeah. they wasn't... The internet wasn't the internet like no. it is now. So we wasn't able to see Gilbert and really. We had to really sit down and watch Gilbert hoop to yeah. see Gilbert hoop. You know what I mean? So. And he was, like you said, the breakdown of it. <clears throat> One of the first people I've ever seen say, if I shoot a step and a half back, that gives me more time if I pump fake because I ain't more athletic than you. Yeah. And when I, I heard that, I was like, damn, that make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But it also makes sense how he fucking played. Yeah. But if they had the internet crazy for real, like we had IG and all these little clips in 2006 when Gilbert was really clowning. Yeah. Yeah, niggas would look at Gilbert a little bit differently. That's yeah. a fact. Even with niggas' handles, bro. Kenny Anderson, Rod Strickland in them, bro. Them niggas yeah. used to low-key put on the show. Tim Hardaway, crossover. Come on, you get talked about it. Yeah, so. The influence. It's yeah. tough. Nah, it's, Steph, he definitely up there. That's a solid top three. Is there anybody else y'all would mention that might be in the top five behind them? <clears throat> Kyrie. That's a good one. A lot of people want to be like Kyrie. I've seen people dribbling balls with trash bags around it, all type of stuff. That's so a Kyrie. Kevin Durant in my top five. Influence? I mean, you see a lot of Game. seven foot, like six, six, eight people trying to be like Katie. Game wise, I ain't influenced. Don't nobody want the haircut or nothing like that. But <laughs> the game, pure game, KD, bro. Yeah, it's a lot of tall people want to play like KD. KD hit Texas. You feel me? We know about him because we was tapped in with shit. But yeah. he hit Texas and really, he kind of transitioned like, oh, shit. Like the bigs from Euro, I mean, from Europe and then the Americans. He's brought that stretch out, nigga, yeah. to the three-point line yeah, You can sure. have handles at seven foot. Yeah, yeah it's okay. okay. Niggas are starting to train my big to be like that. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why I think why Steph was so relatable is because you see he's not that fast. Mm -hmm. It's not that quick. And it's like, dang, if I could shoot the ball, it's good. I could play. But people don't understand. Like, he Better come from shape. A, he's he the in best. shape like a motherfucker. And he come from an NBA family. Like, he's trained. Daddy different. got a clip. Yeah, boss. like, he's trained differently. Like, the way it looked to y'all, like, these cuts and all this shit, he's, like, dissected this game to the... Nth degree. Like, he know everything about basketball. He in yeah. the best shape. He's strong as shit. So all that shit that he do, he put in so much time and yeah. effort to do that shit. People that look at that pregame, bro. Easy. People yeah. look at that pregame and think that shit's just no, bro. That's for a reason. That's precise yeah. train workouts. Nah, he just his make dad it had easy. the perfect form, too. So that yeah. shit, he was groomed to do that shit, bro. Yeah, facts. Because Seth shit crazy, too. He yeah, just ain't. Too. Seth got a clip. Yeah, bro. They whole family got a clip. <clears throat> Damn. They the best shooting family yeah. ever. Shit, he the best shooter ever. I ain't mad at that. <clears throat> I thought Clay was going to be a better shooter than Steph. I was wrong. Clay can shoot. He's still up there, though. But yeah, I was Clay wrong. can shoot, but Steph can do that shit off the dribble. Like, And that's what makes it way worse. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like, they, I might if they just got in the gym and just shot the ball before Clay got hurt. Clay probably beat him sometimes. But then yeah. they start running around, dribbling, and going behind the back, and oh, yes. He's spinning over. and shooting. Yeah, that's when it get a little different. I just have never seen somebody get hot like Clay Thompson, like shooting wise. I mean, I've seen we have all seen some great shooting performances, but when Clay used to get hot, bro, it was like that nigga wasn't missing. Nah, that's a fact. Going the whole third quarter, not missing shots and shit, bro. That's yeah, fucking insane. He's bro. a video guy. Nah, he is. Damn, so. get well soon, Warriors. <laughs> Please. <laughs> what they gonna do, man? Is this the last year for sure? Yeah, it's over with. I think so. Take going, yo. Yeah, let's book it. Especially with the the fake reports of Draymond <laughs> choking the coach out. Hey, it, I'm not gonna say your name, but it's a nigga that's used to play in the NBA. That he told me that. He told me that, that he said that happened. Yeah, we was on the phone. No bullshit, bro. I was like, cause he called me. He said, "Oh, send Dre them forces, bro." <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. And Dre, they still coming anyway. Yeah, they on the you way. Know, yeah, we, your behavior. Yeah. Yeah, they on the way, bro. <laughs> he been cutting the floor. Matter of fact, we really gonna send it to him. We gotta find out <laughs> the Warriors' address. Send it to him. <laughs> Let Steve Kerr give us one. 
Oh my god. But yeah, go ahead. Y'all y'all had y'all run, man. It's time for somebody else. It's time for somebody else, man. Clay, you wanna go fishing, bro? Enjoy your life, bro. Hit another team if you wanna, you feel me? Still who? But I ain't nobody fucked they... up about y'all. Nah, they had a great run. <clears throat> I wonder yeah. if they had traded Draymond. I wonder if he wanna be traded. <clears throat> what would you trade him to if he was a uh, top of the office? Mm, probably a young team that's trying to find their way. Like just need like a a dog, somebody who can kind of mentor. Mm-hmm. Some of the younger guys, so like to be honest, he wouldn't be bad for the Rockets. Some team like that who got potential, yeah. need like a little veteran that can like help him out a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I see him talking about Memphis. Memphis wouldn't be as a bad. possibility. He was thinking about earlier before you know what I'm saying off season type shit. Memphis. It would help that team out a lot. Memphis wouldn't be. I bad. like that. Yeah, yeah. A young team could definitely use Draymond. The Hawks could use him. They need some. Oof. They need some toughness. They need a lot. <laughs> Don't do that. We just had a 30-point comeback win against Boston. Y'all did. Mm-hmm. That did happen. Yeah, Child. without, without Trey. Mm. Hey, Jalen Johnson, bro. Most improved. Yeah, either him or Kobe White. But I'm probably going to take Kobe White. Yeah. Also, the Bulls. Get well soon. <laughs> Free DeMar, man. <laughs> he about to sign an extension, I hope. He about to get paid. He ain't going to work. Yeah. Zach Levine, who they trying to free, <laughs> and niggas is like, nah, we cool. They don't want to get rid of Zach. They want to get rid of Zach. Oh, just... Zach gonna end up in LA or some shit like that. Fire. Yeah, I can see that. Fire. Lakers he, for sure. Fire. Yeah. They be raw. We raw? just, nah. I don't know with just him. They, they probably need raw, a little bit bro. more than just Zach Levine. I can see them going to get a point guard. Not that. Obviously, we know how Dila play, but I can see, like you said, them trying to get to Trey Young or something like that. Yeah. I can see that being more of a, a good look for them. But Zach Levine wouldn't be the worst look, but they need a lot. They need a lot, bro. That's a hell of a pickup, bro. Oh, for sure. I mean, he ain't playing serious basketball in the Bulls, bro. He trying to get up out of there. <laughs> we know what time it is. Hey, but let's go through these picks real quick. You know what I'm saying? Sweet 16 blowing up. For dudes, prove us all wrong. Surprisingly. I'm going to go wow. through the East region. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all make y'all picks. First up, we got UConn, San Diego State. Y'all going? I got the Huskies. You going with UConn? What you got? Yep. All right. Shout out to my build, the Huskies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't be laughing too much. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to say that. <laughs> Iowa State, Illinois. Illinois. Illinois? Iowa State. I'm going Iowa State, too. Who coming out this region? UConn. Yeah. All right. Midwest region. Purdue, Gonzaga. I'm going Gonzaga. I'm going to go with the hometown. I'm going to go with Purdue. Yeah. I'm on. Zags. Bulldogs for sure. Tennessee, Creighton. 10. I got Creighton. Uh. I got 10 by... I got Tennessee winning by more than 10 points. Upset alert, Creighton. They about mm. to smack them. Yeah. Be here in Porter. I'm going <laughs> to take Tennessee. I got Tennessee coming out this region. Who y'all got? Yeah. I got Purdue. Mm. Purdue Final Four. That'd be something. They do, bro. They, they do. definitely fucking overdue. They do, bro. They definitely fucking overdue. Houston Duke in the South region. Taking like H Town. I'm rolling. No Drake effect. I'm rolling. I'm never picking Duke. Um, Marquette, NC State. Marquette. Even though I, I like <clears throat> NC State, but Marquette gonna win that game. I want NC State to win. I'll go NC State. Go NC State. Who coming out this region? Marquette. Uh, Marquette upset Houston? Yeah. Nah. Hugh. No okay, Houston coming out. Lost Drake don't wear the jersey. Uh, uh West uh, region. I know where you going with this. North Carolina, Alabama. Oh, uh, yeah. Y'all can do them. Y'all can do those picks. Y'all know I'm I got Alabama. Mmm. Never. That's a dub for us. We beat them by 20. Shit. Yeah. I beat his picks. Don't date them. Find him if they're wrong. Arizona Clemson. I'm an ACC guy. I'm taking Clemson. Oh, the Arizona. upset. Yeah, I'm going upset. Fuck down. I'm taking Zona out the West Region. I think yeah. Zona. Wildcat. Yeah, I'm taking Zona. I'm taking Dang, Alabama. you taking Zona over 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 Carolina? We gotta get it together. Oh. Uh, I'm taking Alabama out of that region. Nah, give me my boys. I'm out of pocket. Give me my boys. I just the matchups. Yeah, give me give me UNC. UNC all the way. We whole thing. UNC. 
Now you went from doubting your team to because I was thinking about it, bro. Damn, UConn gonna win it all, but they going back to back. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, you. And I can see that happening too. Nah, once if we get to the championship, it's ours. Then y'all can finally give his boy his real championship. Who? The oldest person in college basketball. Uh, yeah, Babcock. No, nah, is that his name? Babcock. Yeah. What is that his name? Babcock. Dude with the braids. That nigga mm-hmm. like thirty. Bro, he has to be the oldest person in college basketball. Man, of Babcock, bro. He he drive trucks, bro. When he not hooping. Yeah, bro, he, he, he is, he got he is not a student, bro. bro. He got his CDL. No way you still want to crack them girls on campus, bro. <laughs> he got two Out of daughters, pocket, bro. bro. We not putting that smut on him. We don't know. He's doing it on campus. Hopefully <laughs> he's not. <laughs> no, nah, he got two daughters. Okay. Tap in. So he's hooping. I made that up, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> he old, bro. <laughs> I still feel away, well, y'all. I know we talked about that, but I, it just pisses me off that college basketball players get to stay today 30, bro. Bro, he was a senior when I was scouting, bro. Right. <laughs> How long you been not scouting? <laughs> Three years ago, bro. I was scouting. <laughs> Move on, nigga. <laughs> like, God, Lee, bro. How nah, did yeah. you get COVID don't years? stretch that long, bro. Bro, COVID been over for three years. It's crazy, but, bro. Like Jay Wright said, how we gonna get mad, bro? They getting these bags? Because we know he probably, if he makes a league, he'd probably be a second round, probably your league player. I just feel like they're fucking up recruitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a wrap for high school. Damn, bro. That is one thing that they do not talk about or emphasize enough. No, high school kids are not getting the same love as they used to. And why the fuck so. wouldn't I go get a 21-year-old over a Grown seven? man that already done, done this for five years. Nigga, the average 30 in JUCO. He's yeah. ready today. <laughs> and my job is on the line if we don't win. That nigga used to play at Tennessee. He ready to transfer <laughs> over here. He's 22. And, and it's got, free reign, bro. And I got three more years with him. Man, he's 22. Everybody on Colorado football team, bro, 22 and up, bro. The whole team going to the club, bro. All of them. <laughs> For real, bro. They got the the number one offensive lineman to help Shador. He the only youngster on the team, bro, that's probably going to play for real. Rest of them niggas, bro, they are out with prom them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Freak nigga on oh, goddamn Colorado kids. <laughs> we are all eligible, bro. <laughs> hey, party with your coaches far. <laughs> That's out of pocket. That's out of pocket, bro. <laughs> I pray that never happens or gets exposed like to, Urban to the... Meyer. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Hey, Urban Meyer getting a twerk in his bar. Yeah. I'm talking about the it's black coaches. Oh, I, I'm talking about the black coaches. Urban, we know, Urban Meyer was fraud. Yeah. He was fraud. But he old, though. He's shit. Him getting a twerk is crazy as is. But getting a twerk in your bar on camera is out of pocket, man. <laughs> Urban did not want that job no more, bro. Nah, was, you got to party with your coach like when you get to the league and you bring him to a booby trap and whatever wow. else you want to go nah, to. Nah, NIL, bro. What's up? Nah, bro. If I, for real, if I was a college athlete and my, if I fucked with my coach a long way, bro, and I had like a birthday party at, in Atlanta at the club, I'm bringing him, bro. Come on, bro. bro my out. coach is Deion Sanders, bro. We outside. Pop out. But he don't drink. Yeah. Deion be chilling. You need a lit coach, bro. Come on. What's your boy that coach for the Rockets, bro? Come on, man. Oh, man. Come on, M.A., bro. M.A. go to the club with you. Yeah. Bro, Come on, M.A., bro. That look green on the tear for a reason, bro. <laughs> Excellent tutelage, bro. You got to respect <laughs> it. You have to respect it. Uh, yeah, Richard. Yeah, shout out to him. That would be fire. I don't think about it. <laughs> if we could see Dion and all his kids in the club, nah, that's bro. an excellent recruiting tour. Nah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's up with this new football kickoff shit, bro? <laughs> ah, these niggas is trying to be the XFL. Um... They're making changes in the NFL that's going to make defenses more pissed off because they said now they can't really tackle no more. i seen that. Which is kind of crazy. And then they're adapting a new, like, kickoff to basically to where niggas have to return the ball. That's basically what they're trying to put it at. Like, you have to return the ball. The field position stuff. The formation is weird. Niggas is, like, 10 yards away. They're trying to push it to where either you either got to return that shit or you getting the ball back at 35 or 40. So you're going to see more plays of people potentially getting CT because special teams is one of the most dangerous things in sports. But the way it was looking at when y'all sent the clip, it it looked kind of like easier. You don't get that much of a head start to go make a crazy tackle. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You only got 10 yards, so you ain't picking up as much speed as you would normally on the kickoff. Because they be ODing on them kickoffs now. Niggas be getting murdered. Man, what? But them getting upset about people kicking it back in the end zone, like starting off, I'm like, touchbacks, okay, whatever. But still, like, damn, now we getting more contact. They're like, we all gonna play more games. We're gonna make special teams a little less safe, a little more safer. That shit ain't safer, bro. 
But like you said, niggas don't get a 20 yard head start no nah, more, which is crazy. The, that was the worst part. But I bring it up to say, which rules do you think they should probably adapt? I know they try to, in basketball, I know they try to do the whole block off the rim shit, but they ain't go that far. What do you think they should probably start using from your league and stuff? Or what are some things you think other leagues they could advise to? I like some of the rules that OT uses. Just as on some different shit. Oh, like the, uh, when you get to the penalty? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like uh, soccer or some shit type. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. Uh, I wouldn't want to see that NBA game. That shit a little weird. I think they should do it in college. I don't think they should do it in NBA. The NBA game is fine. College, they got to make these games a little bit more entertaining. I think they should make it a 24-second shot clock in uh, college. I agree. Damn high school, hell. Indiana high school basketball needs a shot clock. Oof. Man. I don't know what other rules are I would... I would... Yeah, I wouldn't change too I don't want to fuck up the college, game. But I would just make the shot clock mm. lower because, man... They go 35 seconds. You get an offensive rebound. You go, oh, my Lord. Crazy restart, a two, bro. A, a two minutes in a college game and a one position is, like, the most ridiculous shit. Yeah, I wish they went to 24 seconds. Yeah. And then I probably would... I would love if they did the three in the key, like the NBA. You got to count it out. Mm. Three seconds. You got to get out. That'll be cool. On defense, but hell yeah, that'll be. Perfect. But do they say they do that for development reasons for defenders? Which I feel like is not. I don't care. They're in college, like you said, bro. Yeah. You get out the fucking key. Cause yeah. don't you have to do it in high school? Mm mm. I mean, you can stay in the key in high school. You can play some stuff. That. But I think it'll just help further the game. But they don't do that in Euro League though. You can stay through in the key the whole time. NBA the only way you do that. I just wonder if they'll try to adapt anything <clears throat> going forward. I mean, obviously we know NBA is the best basketball in the world. But with so many of our stars being European players or the league style play, if they try to take some of that to kind of help, because like you said, we look at the top Americans and the top foreigners, basically, and we ain't all up here. It's a lot of them up here because of their upbringing and how they play. I wonder if that's something that they would even try to include over here. I wouldn't be mad if they let you knock the ball off the rim. Yeah, they need to do that. That'd be cool. Because when we go to play in uh, international play, yeah, we not really good at that. Like, you know, people be messing it up. And, but yeah. it'd be cool to incorporate Goal that. Goal tender. Um, I mean, the NBA game, I like it because it make you be mano y mano. Like, you can't, in Euro League and other teams, you can hide people. Mm. Like, if you can play zone, you can have somebody stand in the middle of the paint, whatever. You can't really hide nobody in the NBA. So, like, it's just like, I'm better than you or not. That's the only thing I like about it, because if you top of the tops, you got to show it. Oh, okay. Nah, that's real. Because you think about it, in high school, you can hire people. College, you can hire people. <sighs> it's like so. the team Oakland. Like, none of them dudes going to play in the NBA. No offense. I mean, if they do, congratulations to them. But they can hide on defense. Yeah, yeah. That's, for, that's a fact. Like... Like you said, when you get to the league, you can't hide. Mm -mm. And that's why I said Brad Stevens don't get a lot of credit. As much as Isaiah Thomas was scoring in Boston... That scheme he had to where he really wasn't playing defense and don't get talked about enough is crazy. Yeah, that's because at that time, the NBA was, it was like you had a good point guard. Your two guard was just a shooter that played like a three, or you had a three and D dude. Like now, kind of like everybody on the court kind of can give you 35, 40. Like I, I ISO you. At that time, it wasn't too many people that was ISO. And like on our team, we had, a Damari Carroll, 3 and D guy, or a Kyle Corver. Mm -hmm. So you could be like, all right, you know he's going to be in the corner. You don't really got to guard too much pick and rolls. Like, he's strong as shit, so you really couldn't post him. But his height didn't really affect the guy that was a 3 and D. You know yeah. what I mean? But Small guards is just your liability. Yeah, but now it ain't the case. Like, they will ISO the shit out you. <laughs> one, through, <laughs> one through five can ISO. So even dudes come off the bench, they, it's a different league. And I, I think that's the one thing that's dope now about going into the playoffs is like, like you said, you got so many individually talented players now and it ain't just more or less you do one thing well. Yeah. I ain't no more Keith Bogus in the NBA mm -hmm. like that no more. That's why I used to go. <laughs> Shout out to Bogues, but <laughs> yeah. I still went out there. I got, I got, I got Bogues. So, hey, players like that is, they're not coming back to the league. Yet, nah, that's they can't, bro. Because everybody, like you said, the Steph Curry effect, now everybody can shoot for the most part. I got handles. I can shoot. I can ISO you. I ain't just a 3 and D dude. The NBA scores, the averages per game, kind of. Like, if you go look yeah. at the Pacers, like, scoring, they got, or the Atlanta Hawks, I give you, I look at them most of the time. 
They got like seven dudes average double figures, and a couple of them average like fit like Dre Hunter average fifteen, Bogey average seventeen or something like that, and they coming off Bogey off the bench. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you like, and they got like ten people to average double figures. It's kind of crazy. That's like the Pacers like consistently having four or five people who score like ten points. You look up and be like, damn. But like you said. You play up and down basketball, the tempo of the game, everybody getting shots. You mm-hmm. bound to hit some of them motherfuckers. Yeah, and everybody can hoop. Like, it ain't nobody you just be out there on the paces where you be like, ah, oh, he can't get me a bucket. What's the dude, Nimhart, wasn't it? Oh, uh, Andrew he, Nimhart. Yeah, he an ISO. <laughs> you ain't just switching on him, and he ain't going to try to score on you. Like, I'll, go, I'll score on you too. That's, that's what I'm getting for the playoffs. All the young teams, like you said, even if they ain't household names, you ain't familiar with them. They got to go. And mm-hmm. it ain't this, that, that gap is close. Like, you still got your stars, still got your all-stars. But other than that, you got a team full of niggas who can just go off at any given minute. That's a fact. Now it's time for Last Call, brought to you by Hennessy. Uh, what's one team that y'all looked forward to seeing their success in the playoffs? I think everybody watching Milwaukee, the Clippers, mm-hmm. and Boston. But I'm excited to watch, like, Luka and them. I know they're not going to win nothing, but it's just like, I know it's going to be... Yeah, I'm here for the entertainment. Yeah. Um, oh, the Mavs is going to be on that. Yeah. I'm here for the entertainment, Like, I want to see Kyrie go against the Clippers and Luka go against the Clippers. I want to see that. Hopefully not against us, but I want to see the Magic in the playoffs, man. I want to see PB get his shine. Because they really be going crazy. They really be hooping. Yeah. He's hard. Yeah. He's definitely cold, for sure. One of the most slept-on players in the league. I mean, obviously, he got the yeah. all-star bid, but... They're just not on TV. Mm-hmm. Like, even even OKC is good at They're not on TV. So everybody, them people that you see ain't household names, but them young niggas got to go. They need yeah. playoff experience, though, to help them go to the next level, though. So mm-hmm. if they could slip in there some type of way, then... Yeah, what they like the four? They ain't slipping in, pause. They like, they are... No, they, I'm talking about slipping in. I'm talking about not mm-hmm. making a playoff. I'm talking about, like, to make some noise. Oh, yeah, for Hopefully sure, for niggas sure. just don't get there and get swept because it's kind of like, <laughs> nigga, another four games. So I'm mm-hmm. talking about let the nigga get... At least go six games with a motherfucker. Have a moment. Yeah, bro. You don't want to go to the league. I mean, go to the playoffs, nigga, and get dusted off right away. It's going to fuck with your confidence. For sure. But we judge people so heavy on that, making that playoff shit. That shit's crazy. Yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about, too, like how people get judged off, like, the NCAA tournament. I know how we, like, got rid of John Calipari. (laughs) I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, the reason I don't like college basketball it's because it's not relatable to the NBA because you don't get a one-and-done situation in the NBA. At so all. So if I'm better than you, I have to beat you four times out of seven. In college, like, I can just have one shining moment, literally. And now they didn't ruin everybody's brackets and tournament. Not saying they ain't do what they were supposed to do. They just had one moment. And now he about to go, like he said, be an accountant or sell insurance or whatever. <laughs> and these dudes about to go to the NBA where that never happened again. Like, you don't never oh, play yeah. this one game. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that might affect some of them draft stop. Like, like, one of them players could be like, oh, he didn't play good in that one tournament loss. That's what and I hate about it. And now it affects his draft stop. And Dog. it's like... Did you see how bad it is on my Reed Sherbert the second half of that game? That's what I mean. Like it's crazy. One game could affect his draft stock because he doesn't have a good game and it's only one moment. Is Reed still high on the draft board, though? I mean, yeah, I mean sure for sure. Is, but, but That number one talk is no... You know, but that's one game one against game. a team that just had a moment. They play NC State, get them the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nah, yeah. What if the NBA did that? I would love for the NBA to really do that. Because the playing tournament, they still play a lot of different stuff to get to that point. Mm-hmm. But I would love for the NBA to just have a winner takes all, just one turn, one game. That would be crazy. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Now, if they do that, then the NCAA tournament would make more sense to me. But It's so I, unfair. You mean like yeah. to go to the championship? No, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm, well, that would be crazy if they did that. I was about to say, damn. They, but there's a lot of money being lost. If they did yeah, crazy shit like so that. So much money lost. But just if hypothetically that happened, that would be funny as hell. Because you would get everybody's best playing against each other. Oh, yeah. I like that playing shit, though, this year. How the niggas was playing. Niggas was taking that. Nah, that shit was fire. That's that, the best that thing That turned Tyrese up, for real. Like, that was a thing. Tournament, bro. Yeah, that was a thing, for real. That's so the best we shitted on that idea. They saw the vision. That's they the did, best bro. shit they did. Bro. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Do, do the Lakers get the Razor banner? Nah. <laughs> but think about that shit, though. Like, we just saying, like, Reed Shepard, they talking about his draft stock. Like, a game like that probably didn't took DJ Wagner all the way to the next year. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Please he, come back, he, bro. He, Run it back. You need a year or two. He's definitely come back to school. 
Yeah. And none of this, he, he has to come back to school. You nah, didn't even get a chance to show bro. how good you are, bro. Yeah, you go have to crazy. Come back to Let Rob do his thing, bro. He gonna bring you to the club. He gotta enter the portal, bro. Damn, he gotta go. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of that too. He gotta enter the portal, bro. The he lineage. Gotta, he gotta go somewhere on the East Coast, like. He got to get out of there. Where he can just go rock out? Yeah, he got to go to Rutgers. No, Rutgers getting some killers. Rutgers, they just got no one playing. Yeah, yeah, he got to go to, like, Seton Hall. I respect it. You can yeah. go to St. John's or kill. St. John's. Come on, Uncle yeah. Rick got you, bro. Ah, uh, he can't do that. Rick Pitino to Calipari. From Calipari, Rick Pitino. Hell, nah. The great decision. I can't do Stay that. in the mob, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know I don't really fuck with Rick like that, but stay in the mob. Stay in the family. But he got to. He might have to get out of Kentucky. I can see that, bro. I can see that. Yeah. I've seen a lot of chatter about that. I was like, I don't know if he'll do it because, you know, money be tied up. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one thing about that NIL shit that people don't talk about. Like, obviously, he's straight, but when you sign the NIL, sometimes you got to be somewhere. But yeah, this weekend, when you see this episode, we'll be on our way to Atlanta. Pull up. Last leg of the Hennessy Arena Tour. We're going to be in ATL. Special guest. Who the special guest going to be? Lou Will. That's hey, going to be a good one, man. Pepper Lou. My good dog. one. Good our episode for sure. All right, man. Look, we look forward to that episode. Y'all been asking for it. We've been requesting. We finally made it happen. If you're an ATL, pull up to the live show. We definitely appreciate support. So what's up, Mike? Link is in the bio. Link is in the bio. Oh, the link is in the bio now. So we'll post this. Y'all can stop asking us. We've been waiting on it too. But shit, pull up Saturday, 2 o'clock, NC Arena, Club 520, Lou Will. And on that note, we're going to get up out of here. You know what it is. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Want you some merch. What's the merch? Shop club520.com. Please, yes, sir. please shop club520.com and get your latest merch. We will be adding stuff to the website soon. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all rocking with us.